don't let you or your family be a victim of MDD or mass Doberman destruction. Today is all about simple tricks that you can use to eliminate separation anxiety in your Doberman. And guys, I can't always say this, but today I'm going to say it. This information might literally save you thousands of dollars. <laughs> yeah, okay, I coined the term MDD. That's my term, all right? Uh, mass Doberman destruction. Because honestly, it could feel like someone's dropped a bomb on your house if your Doberman suffers from uh, separation anxiety. Not only can it take a chunk out of all your personal possessions, but it can take a chunk out of your savings account as, as well. So let's first talk about how this can happen. You know, Dobermans are people dogs. They love being around people and they love being around their owners. They're called Velcro dogs for that reason because they're always right there by your side. So they can suffer from separation anxiety pretty easily. Um, most of the time this takes the form of destruction and, and poor behavior when the owner leaves the house for a period of time, usually for work. But it can happen for other reasons too. It can happen when um, someone in the house is that was there all along is now no longer there, like a kid that's moved out, who's grown up moved out, or maybe a roommate that's moved out. Um, it can also happen because of a change of schedule. Maybe you're gone from the house at a different time than when you normally are. Uh, and it can also happen if it's just like a rescue dog or a dog that's changed owners and you're maybe a new owner that they're not used to and they're suffering from separation anxiety from their past owner. So there's a lot of reasons this can happen. So what does it look like and how do you know if your dog has separation anxiety? Well, you might first notice that when you're getting ready for work in the morning, for example, you're getting your keys, you're getting your briefcase or your backpack together or whatever your routine is uh, before you leave the house that your dog starts getting anxious, starts pacing, starts crying, starts moping around or maybe sticking really close to your side. Those are all signs that your dog's suffering from, from some separation anxiety. Now, it might take the form of some destructive behavior while you're gone as well. You might come home and find uh, your normally well-behaved dog, meaning well-behaved when you're around, but you get home from work and you find your well-behaved dog has now chewed up some, some trim work in your house, maybe you chewed up some furniture, um, maybe uh, defecated or uric urinated in the house when usually they're completely potty trained. Um, or uh, might be getting complaints from neighbors of barking and howling and crying. These are all signs of separation anxiety. And unfortunately for us Doberman owners, it's just way too common. Now, the way you can tell if this is actually separation anxiety or something else is uh, if this behavior is normal for your dog when you're around, then more than likely it's not separation anxiety. If this behavior is not seen when your dog, uh, not seen in your dog when you're home, but is only seen when you're gone, then that's a very good tip that this is separation anxiety. Luckily for you, there are some simple things that Doberman owners can do that can completely turn the tide on this whole separation anxiety thing. And Dobermans respond really well to some of these. So the first thing you can do is exercise your dog before you leave. Now I know what you're thinking. I can read your mind. You're thinking, well, I leave way too early for work to do that. Well, Believe it or not, there are some people that get up at 4 a.m. and go run three miles every day before work. I'm not saying you gotta do that, but what I am saying is you can wake up maybe 20 minutes earlier and play with your dog, throw a ball around, wear them out a little bit. That little extra bit of, of exercise before you leave will make a huge difference to keep your dog relaxed while you're gone. Now, the second trick I can tell you is to, if your dog's kept in a pen of any kind, which is very common when the dog is young, so if you have a Doberman puppy, that's a year or younger, you may keep them in some sort of penned off area at a minimum uh, while you're gone at work because they're not potty trained. So if you keep them in something like that, 
put them in 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes early before you leave for work. That's because you leaving for work otherwise could be like a one-two punch for your dog. Uh, one is now they're stuck in this enclosure where their movement is somewhat limited. And two, their owner is leaving for work and going to be gone for a good chunk of the day. So in order to help eliminate that, put them in the pen a little bit earlier. It's helped breaks this up so that they kind of get over being in the pen, seeing you. They know they still have time of watching you get ready. And uh, then when you leave, it won't be as traumatic. Now, the third thing I can tell you, and this is a biggie. Make sure your dog has plenty of toys to chew on, maybe even some puzzle toys um, with some food inside uh, so that they stay busy and they stay stimulated while you're gone. That's probably the best thing I can tell you. Now, the next fourth tip would be have somebody, if your dog suffers from separation anxiety, which again is common in the Dobermans, make sure you have someone check on your dog partway through the day if you're gone for an eight-hour day or more. Um, especially if uh, the younger they are, the more they need to be checked on. Let's put it that way. So, um, halfway through the day, have someone come by and check on them. Even if it's a neighbor kid, you got to pay $10 or whatever to come by, uh, check their water bowls, pull them out of the, whatever enclosure they're in. If they are in an enclosure, play with them, that kind of thing. Make sure everything's going okay. That'll help break the day up for them a lot. And then the last tip that I think is, is a last simple trick anyway, is, to uh, get a pet camera. They make pet cameras that are really great for dogs that suffering from separation anxiety. You can see the dog, you can talk to the dog, you can even dispense treats. Um, you can look at them straight from your uh, cell phone when you're at work to you know make your boss really happy with you that you're zoning out on your dog. <laughs> but um, you, can, you can do it anywhere. So that's another option. So the best overall thing you can do for your dog really is to keep them more active and keep them more engaged in general with you even when you're home get the kids involved even have the kids teaching them tricks and and working with the dogs so, you know the more the family is engaged not only the more relaxed the dog's going to be in the long run but the, the better they're going to be bonded with your family if things are really bad you can consider what's called counter conditioning counter conditioning means that you turn the dog's negative experience into a positive experience now separation anxiety is of course a real negative experience. And let's say in your dog, it might be you leaving for work. That's their negative experience. You need to turn your act of leaving for work into a positive experience for your dog. One great way to do this is to have maybe a favorite toy or a favorite um, puzzle toy that has a treat inside or a frozen treat of some kind inside that you only give your dog when you're leaving for work. And then you take it away as soon as you get home from work. They can't play with it throughout the day when you're home. They can't play with it uh, you know, on the weekends when you're home. But as soon as you leave, they get that toy. And as soon as you come back, you take the toy away. And you may even have to switch up the toy sometimes to keep it exciting. But make it a positive thing. And over time, this can counter condition your dog to now see you leaving as a pretty positive. Ex well, they won't see it as completely positive, but it'll counteract the negative feelings. And they're gonna, it's going to do wonders for the separation anxiety. If you're thinking about getting a Doberman or maybe you already have one and you could use a few more cool tips and tricks to make life easier on you, then hey, maybe you should subscribe to my channel. Just click on that Doberman head with that glow behind it. It's here or here or here. I don't know. It's somewhere on your screen. And uh, maybe check out some of my other videos while you're at it. There's even a, a really great video I have about leaving the Doberman home alone and how long you can leave him home alone. That could be really useful. And that should be on your screen right now. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time.